Oh, what is that? Is that a flathead? I think it might be. I don't know. Well, good morning and welcome to part three of our uh, how-to video on catching flathead. So, so far we've covered soft plastics. Um, we've used the vibe, showed you how to do that, and now we're gonna troll for flathead. And we're gonna show you where to troll, when to troll, some of the techniques that we use in catching loads of flathead when you're trolling. Am I a fan of it? Not one bit, I hate trolling. But if you're in a comp or you just wanna get a quick feed, like literally in an hour you can get six, seven flathead, uh, good size eating fish uh, in no time at all when they're biting. So today I'm using a little tango shade here, and uh, it's in the white color there with all these pink spots. Um, Cord from Wilson, he's one of the best flathead fish shows getting around. He loves using the black one. Uh, so polar opposites there, but uh, get that down in the front of a, a flathead's face and it will eat it. Fishing with my good mate Rodney. He's trolling, uh, what are you trolling? I've got the duo uh, Realis. I, Realis, yeah, he's got a little duo Realis on there. And uh, yeah, let's get started so we can find your fish. Now you can pretty much troll for flathead on any tide. You really can and you will catch fish. However, the way I do it with Rodney is that I like fishing the run-in tide. So when that tide goes out and all the fish move off the flats, they move into the edge on the edges in the deeper water and that's what we're trolling now. We're just trolling those drop-offs and that's where the flathead will hit just as the tide turns and starts to push in. They'll be sitting on those edges waiting to move up onto the flats. So we troll all the way along these edges. This lure gets down quite deep actually. We're in two meters here and I'm still banging the bottom. But you can troll, you can just pull it up a little bit closer and lift your rod tip if you want to get it off the bottom. But you can literally troll in five, 700 mil of water and you will catch flathead. But a rising tide on the edges of the flats to me is a prime location to find good numbers of flathead on that run-in tide. Hey, fish on. There had to be, you should see the bait on the sounder right now. There just had to be one there. Had to. You need the net, mate? Just a little one? You're like a stick fish. Oh yeah, oh, it's just a little fella. So now I've let my lure out about 30 feet behind the boat, and what do I do? Well, you want a super light drag, and you want to be working that lure a little bit. So I can feel it bumping into the bottom there. If I don't want it to hit the bottom, I just lift my rod tip up, change the angle, and maybe shorten it up a little bit. The other thing you can also do, it's really important, just give it a little bit of a twitch now and then, get that lure working a little bit, trying to get the fish's attention, and don't be scared to go over the top of weed beds. You think, oh, I'm gonna foul up over the weed beds. No, just give it a good old twitch like that get that weed off it because flathead love sitting in those weed patches and ambushing their prey. So just a bit of a flick down then. We're literally only in 800 mil of water here, but this big sandbank that we're fishing, it undulates. So 800 goes down to 1.2, comes back up to 800, goes back down to 1.4. So you wanna be working that and they'll often be sitting on those in those little pockets as you troll through. So just work the lure nice and easy. And now we're heading into the current. So the boat's going slower. We're on the electric motor. Um, you can troll on your main motor, obviously. We're on the electric and now we're heading into the tide. We're going a little bit slower. But as long as that rod tip is bouncing as it is, I can see that lure is working beautifully. You can just see it there. Look at that. That's all you need. Just enough. And obviously when we're going with the tide, we're moving a lot quicker. Doesn't make any difference. You'll still catch fish either way. So working your lure is really important. Staying in the right depth of water is really important and uh, hopefully we see some fish today. You can see this spot here, we are literally 1.8 meters and I could jump off the boat and land less than waist deep right there. So this is a really big drop off here. 
and this is an absolute prime spot for big flathead. And we've caught them here for many years. But today, we have not turned a reel. Here it comes. In fact, I don't even think it's a flathead. I think it might be a whiting. Yeah, and that's often what you'll get. You'll get a bit of bycatch now and then when you're trolling. Uh, especially here in our hometown, we get trevally and whiting and brim and all sorts of stuff. But there you go, look at that, a little whiting. No problems whatsoever, smacking the little tango shad. As the plane goes over and ruins our audio. Thank you, plane. One thing when you're trolling, guys, you don't want your lure just plowing into the bottom. So if you do get shallow, just lift your rod tip up. And if you work it a little bit more, it'll come up a little bit. And you will be able to tell the difference between the lure hitting the bottom and an actual bite. You'll find when you're hitting the bottom, it just stabs in like that, whereas a bite tends to be a little bit longer and a lot faster. So it's more of a whack, 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 whack. Whereas in hitting the bottom, it's just like stab, stab. Yeah, it's not a bad little fish, mate. It's really interesting that we're trolling the same water, same depth, same lure. Roddy's using a dark pink, I'm using a white. He's got three flathead, I've caught none. So sometimes that, uh, yeah, decent, mate. I'll get the net, eh? Oh, I got him, I got him. That's a nice fish. That's a legal fish for sure. Good job, mate. Thanks, mate. That pink lure is absolutely smashing it today. That's good. When you've got two different guys on the boat, it's actually quite a good lesson. Never, ever fish with the same color lure. Always try different colors, rotate them, see what's working. Unfortunately, we only brought one pink <laughs> off those things, over the tango shads, and Rodney got it. That's okay, that's okay. We went to the tackle store and stole all the pink ones. So they're all gone. I've got a flathead. <laughs> it is the smallest flathead you'll ever see. Nah, it's not too bad. Just shy illegal. To me, trolling is exceptionally boring, but it's still nice. We're out on the water, we're having a nice time, we're having a good conversation, and we're catching fish. Well, there you have it. It's pretty simple catching flathead. Uh, now, what we've proven today is color does matter. So I was using that lovely white, Little guy there, and I thought to myself, yeah, that's that's gonna get eaten, but not one fish. Rodney's using a bright pink lure, and I think he got six or seven fish. I switched to a slightly darker color, and I got one as well. So, you know, some days they'll eat absolutely anything you throw at them, and some days color does matter. Now, we were using tango sheds. These are Zerich tango sheds, and we've also got these little realists. I'll drag one out. These little duo realists. Now they're deep divers and they catch loads and loads of flathead. In fact, the flathead classic on the Gold Coast has been won on these tango shads quite a few times. However, in saying that, these are just the lures that I use. There are so many lures on the market that will catch you flathead when you troll. Again, it's about trial and error. Go to your local tackle store, have a chat to them about what's working in their area. But uh, if you're just starting out, uh, those uh, tango, tango shades from Zerich are a really good place to start. Lastly, the gear that I'm using, very small reel, it's just an 800 size, this is a carbon fibre ATC. Uh, I've got six pound braid and I've got a six foot ten, four to eight pound blades and tails. So decently long, nice soft rod, catching those small flathead, it makes it fun and when you do get a big one, you know all about it. So that's trolling for flathead. Our next one's gonna be all about chasing the big girls up on the flats. We might have to do two, three, five, ten trips on that before we actually see a result. But that's gonna be really interesting and hopefully we can show you guys a really big girl. Because that, at the end of the day for me, is what it's all about. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, um, please uh, hit subscribe down the bottom. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit subscribe and and the notification little bell there, so every time we get uh, a video uploaded, you'll you'll know about it. I'm gonna put up all the short versions of our show. Um, it's gonna be heaps of cool content, plus heaps of how-to videos uh, that'll hopefully help you guys out in your fishing endeavors. So, um, yeah, subscribe.